What's going down, fight fans? This is Spaniard, Northwest Fight Scene. I'm sitting here at Team Quest Tualatin with Lightning Liz McCarthy. She's getting ready. She's preparing for a rumble at the Roseland 61 battle against Liz Tracy. Um, they're fighting for the 115 pound title. Uh, this is the 10th anniversary show for Rumble at the Roseland. This is a pretty big show for the Roseland. Uh, they've been battling South for years. Uh, the Roseland, if you don't know, was basically the show that legalized MMA in the state of Oregon. So this is a pretty big deal for them. Um, now, McCarthy here is going to be battling for the title, as I just said. So talk to me a little bit about your preparation, your training, what you're doing against your opponent, uh, Liz Tracy. I've definitely been training training extra hard for this fight. I feel like I train a little harder for every single fight that I get. Um, this I think is probably going to be my last amateur fight, so I'm trying to go out with a bang. I'm really excited to be fighting in Portland, my hometown. I have a lot of friends and family that are coming to watch this one, so expect a very good show. Now, um, you won a title in Vegas as well, too, in a, in a crazy fashion by Flying Armbar. I think it's still all over YouTube and all over the underground. Uh, talk about that. Right. Um, that was kind of, a, I guess, an unexpected finish. Um, it, it was it was really exciting getting ready for that fight. It was uh, a little nerve-wracking getting over there and kind of being out of your hometown. I was kind of the kid that nobody knew. Everybody thought the other girl was going to just come in and kind of run right through me. So um, definitely a lot of nerves for that one. I have, you know, some nerves for this one, but... Um, I think the anxiety level doesn't really quit. Compare. <laughs> now, um, how much do you know about Liz Tracy? I know that she's a good wrestler. Definitely have the tape of her last fight against Emily Whitmire. I know that she has some experience at grappling tournaments. I know she comes in real hard, a lot of ones and twos. Uh, I feel I feel pretty confident in my, um, or, or I guess confident in my training camp getting ready for this one. I feel like uh, we pretty much know what to expect. Now, I'm being here at Team Quest to Wallace and you got a lot of great names, a lot of great partners, people. Um, what's that like being here around some of the greats, uh, Chael Sonnen and uh, Yushin Nakami? There's a lot of people, a lot of big people around here on the mat. Uh, what's that like? It's definitely a confidence booster to be able to come in here and train every day uh, and know that your training levels are at that really high caliber. Um, definitely makes you feel like you're getting the really quality training. Now, is there any pressure uh, being in the anniversary show, last anniversary show for the Rosalind? Uh, show that's kind of the great show, so you know? Uh, definitely, I mean, I, I guess there's a little bit of pressure. I would consider it or view it more just as uh, general excitement. I don't feel like I have any extra pressure to perform that much more than I would for any other fight. If, if anything, I feel just a little more anxious because it's my hometown and all my friends, and it's a really great opportunity, for sure. Now, what's that like when you know that it's kind of your hometown? Now, you've performed in front of uh, big crowds, obviously Vegas and whatnot, but um, now that you have your family, friends, all those people around you, um, what's the difference? Uh, I almost feel like I have uh, I have to impress a little bit more this time. I know all my friends and family are going to be waiting for me afterwards, so if I get hurt or something like that, it's going to be kind of disappointing because I want to be able to actually spend time with them. Um, again, not expecting to get hurt. Um, hopefully, both of us come out of it without injury, uh, but definitely going to be working pretty hard for this one. Now, um, what's the next couple of weeks like for you leading up to the fight? Uh, right now, I think we're at either 9 or 10 days out. We're getting pretty close. So, uh, starting to wind down a little bit, not too hard. This is definitely the hardest week of preparation for the fight. Next week is going to be a lot more drilling and uh, reviewing technical training. Not quite as hard sparring. You don't want to get injured right before. So, I'm definitely excited to be going into this fight healthy. Now, do you have any weight cuts? I mean, obviously, I would not say anything. You're not too big. You're kind of tiny there pocket ninja type size, so right. you don't have too much of a weight right. cut, right? No, I do not have a weight cut. Um, I actually have been eating extra and trying to make weight, so um, I think it's pretty common knowledge most people know. I usually fight at 105. Um, 110 is kind of the upper end, but usually I don't even walk that heavy, so um, I fought at 115 before. I did not weigh in at 115. I don't know if I'm going to weigh in at 115 for this one. I've been trying, but I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, I feel like I've trained with not just bigger guys, but I've also trained with girls that fight at 115 and they fight at 125 regularly, and I feel really comfortable training with those girls, so I don't feel a huge disparity or be, that I'm at a huge disadvantage fighting at 115, at least at the amateur level. Professional level would probably be a big difference, but at the amateur level, I still feel pretty comfortable. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me, and uh, good luck in your fight coming up. Uh, anybody you'd like to give a thanks to? Uh, 
definitely um, big thanks to Slade and Molly, which is Fight Gear, my main sponsors. Um, Diddy Boxer sponsored me, and um, Maximus, you guys have helped me out a little bit. Uh, big thanks to all my training partners here at Team Quest, and then also all of my other training partners at other gyms that I've been kind of skipping around to. All of the fantastic coaches everywhere that have been really willing to help me out getting ready for this one. Awesome. And we heard it here at NWFightScene.com, Spaniard, Liz McCarthy, Team Quest of Walton. Thank you guys.